All right, so specifically when we get into to talking about directory traversal, we'll, we'll just play a little bit with the, the CARS um, website that we've been playing with. Let's just see if we can go in and, and have a little bit of fun here. So I'm going to go in and log in again. Okay. <clears throat> and you remember our first thing that we did, we went in and did what? Cars. Car one. And then it did a search. All right. So if something is vulnerable to directory traversal attack, what you can do is pass in the parameter like we did before. Remember how we tampered with the parameter before? In this particular case, where we have the equal sign here, what we should be able to do is do a dot 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 or forward slash dot dot and we'll just see if that takes us anywhere. This particular case, what did it do? Anything? Okay, so through some analysis here, we can actually see if we can get on to maybe a file server or a system. Um, how do you feel like you could uh, maybe put a file on there? Maybe get to this Windows system INI file on 322. You guys think you could do that? What if we were to get rid of this and just do something like this? Does it work? See how that took us back to where the root level? So if we went back for or if we went forward again, now we know that hey, if from the URL we can get back to the root. So what if back at the root level there was something waiting there for us? In our particular case here. We can cheat a little bit and look. Is there anything back here that might be of interest for us to possibly launch? I don't know. Is there? Old house? Well, what if we could actually get back to this level or even this level right here? So here's the where we're at now. That's one level back. What if we did two, three, four, and then inside of here, let's just say we went into here and is there a file here that we're interested in? This one? All right. So the idea would be is that we go back four levels, one, two, three, whoops, four, and then Windows, and then System. And what is that System INI file going to do for us? Yeah, so it'll cause this dynamic page. Um, to try to retrieve the file system I and I from the file system. And if it works, what would we actually expect to see here? Okay, that could be one output, or we could expect it to download it, right? Hmm, that's interesting. See how it did? And a lot of times within IIS, you're going to see something crazy like this where it barfs. Sometimes it'll be like a yellow screen. You've probably seen that before. Where it'll say ASP.NET. It'll say configuration error. Uh, in this particular case, these things can be a little bit informative. So if we don't know what we're dealing with here, what can we glean from this information? It really does. It really th thinks that uh, that's the path. Yeah, so you can see that, hey, here's here's the physical path it's trying to file, find, and it doesn't see it. But you can also look at, right up here, by default, IIS shows its cards, right? Immediately it shows its cards. It says, hey, wait a second, guy, I didn't find what you were just looking for, hotshot. 
go back and, and try it again. And so now I know that, hey, maybe, maybe we can try something else. So we know that there's a search.aspx that is looking for an ID equal, well, what if we did um, something like one, two, three, four, and then something like this, Windows system dot ini. Did they come back there? No items present. So in that particular case, this search.aspx didn't do anything for us. So what are we doing wrong here? Is there anything? There's something that uh, we're looking at that maybe we don't know what what to see or what are we doing wrong? Okay. Yep. So this takes us back to the root right here, the default. So is there anything? How could I get eliminate these two? Right here, is there a way? And really, the answer is here. Maybe this particular website is not susceptible to a directory traversal attack. However, what have we been able to glean from this right here? Mm -hmm. So if we go back one here, that would take us to INET Hub, and we go back again, and then if we go to Windows, System, INI, what does that do for us? Nothing. So then after you play with this for a little while, this particular website, either we're typing in the syntax incorrectly, or it's just not susceptible to this type of attack. So let's just check this out real quick. So it's with Windows. System 32. And here in your book, it tells you <clears throat> if we went into cars. Right. What about something like this right here? If I went here on page 322, they have the system 32. So if it is susceptible here, what would I expect to see? A command prompt. Right? Oh, hey, seeing some different stuff going on here. That's kind of fancy. Did I type something wrong? But see how it did that? It, it took that percent five C that I put in there, and that's HTML encoding. And it, actually put it into a backwhack dot to give me, or a backwhack to give me the, uh, what does that do? Tell me what that does in Windows. Uh, 
No, I don't. I don't think I can. From I don't think I can use that as a. Uh, um, I don't think I can use that as a uh, shortcut. See how it adds it here? Yeah, it's just an escape code. So I can deduce that um, this one, this particular site, probably is not susceptible to a directory traversal attack. However, we were able to glean some information, right, from it. What were we able to glean from it? Version. 